How you doing everybody this um, wonderful afternoon in sunny sunny Columbus Georgia Fort Benning home of the infantry um, I just want to share a quick message with you message not gonna take too long be blessed put a smile on your face if the sun is shining where you're at, you know, hey, enjoy it. If it's uh, snowing, if it's raining, enjoy it. Bless the name of Jesus Christ. Just give some praise today, you know. We go, we go through so many things in our lives. But we must remember to praise Him. Praise His name. Because he is worthy of praise <laughs> for one and at the end of the day it's all good it's all good and that's the joy that we have as born-again believers it doesn't matter what happens <laughs> it's all good <laughs> everybody could be running outside screaming the sky is falling the sky is falling the sky is falling which it will one day <laughs> and we may be shocked just because of uh, the awesomeness of, of God if we came outside and the sky was literally falling but then we have something in us that tells us <laughs> be still <laughs> be still <laughs> and know that I am God I may have, I think I misquoted that wrong, but if I did, I apologize. Uh, I think y'all get the gist of what uh, what I'm trying to say. So, whatever it is, don't worry about it. Remember who your father is, as my, my mother reminds me sometimes. Because, you know, sometimes I may say something that, uh, you know is fleshly as far as not being who God has called me to be in the body of Christ and she says uh, she says, you must don't know who your, uh, your who your daddy is so you better remember who your father is boy <laughs> so uh, all glory to God but I thank my mom for for telling me that sometimes to remind me because when she does I'd be like yeah you, you're right you're right I know I do know who my father is Father is in heaven, the creator of everything, God Almighty, that is my Father. Get out here and witness. Preaching the gospel does not have to be this uh, task that you feel like, oh, I got to get up and, and get to it. There's a joy in preaching the gospel. You should have a, a joy. You should have a zeal. When you wake up out of bed, let's get to it, Lord. A zeal for saving souls. Well, leading souls to salvation, which is only through Jesus Christ. The gospel, preaching the gospel, does not have to be um, this thing that you feel like that is, is dreadful. You should love to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. It should be your joy. It should be an honor to do so. You should love to minister to people. The grace of God. The mercy of God. The long suffering of God. The patience of God. The meekness of God. I think I missed one. <laughs> the everything of God. His judgments. His righteousness. The fullness of God that dwell bodily. The Godhead dwell bodily in Jesus Christ. That Jesus Christ is God manifested in the flesh. And that he loved you, he loved me to come down out of heaven willingly. Nobody forced him to die. To die so we don't have to go to hell where we rightfully deserve to go. 
and it's your choice now. It's your choice if you go to hell or not. It's nobody else's choice because it's a free gift that he's given. All you have to do is receive it. It's not about what you can do. There's religion. It's about what he has done. It is finished. <laughs> and that's an amazing. That is a beautiful thing. That God Almighty. God who created you in his image. Came down to earth. And dwelt among men humbly as one of us and died for you so that you can have life and life more abundantly. I don't know anything more beautiful than that. <laughs> I don't know anything more beautiful than that. It's a wonderful day. Not just because the sun is shining, but because I have my heart at. <laughs> I have joy in my heart <laughs> that nobody can take from me. I have a love in my heart that was given from God himself. Get out here and have some joy and zeal for preaching the gospel. Have some joy and zeal for the people who are out here lost and, and, and struggling and looking for hope. That doesn't mean that we um, compromise, but we give the people what they need in this day and age that we're living in right now. That is hope. Now I know some of you Watch my videos. Some of you read my post on Facebook. And I come out. I, I give it strong a lot of times. And as you know, I say this all the time. I give it to you how the Lord gives it to me. The Lord gives it to me strong. To put the message out there strong, but with truth and with love. Then that's what I do. Because. Uh, it says in Jude about saving some, you know, having compassion on others and uh, saving some with, with the fear of God. So if I put a message out here, it's not for any specific person. It's for whoever the message is for. I don't know who it's for. I just put the messages out there. And the Holy Spirit will do the rest as far as who hears it. Whose heart it touches. My job is just to get the messages out there in love. Regardless if they're strong messages. Because I know a lot of my messages messages are strong. But you have to realize how much evil we have going on in these days. And people do not fear God. So you can't sit here and, uh, and not talk about the judgment and the wrath that's coming upon this world. Because you have to talk about that. God bless you all. Today is the day of salvation. If you're wondering why I'm always in a good mood for the most part. It's not because I got a pocket full of money. It's not because I drive a Bentley. It's not because I live in a, a mansion. <laughs> it's because I have Jesus. And nobody can take that from me. <laughs> nobody can take it from me. And nobody's going to take it. Because they can't. <laughs> that is my joy. That is what I live for. I live for this. I live for Jesus. I die for Jesus. 
about yourself. Because if I die again, I mean, if I die, which I will die. I live again. The scriptures tell us some of us will pass from glory to glory. We will pass from glory to glory. Something to think about. Some of you will pass from torment on this earth to torment forever. From torment on this earth to worse torment than what is going on in your life right now. And I love you enough to tell you the truth. Hell is not where you want to go. It is not where you want to go. I'm pleading with you. With every ounce of me to repent and believe the gospel of Jesus Christ. Where else are you going to turn? He is the only hope. Things ain't going right in your life. Things ain't going right in your marriage. Things ain't going right in, in your single life. You are here alone, lonely. You're putting on a smile. Like everything is good and you're happy. When you lay your head down your pillow at night, you are miserable. I've been there before. I've been where you are before. Putting on a, a fake in the front. For the world. When the world don't care nothing about you. The world will continue on if you die today. The few people will mourn. Your mama will probably mourn. Your dad will probably mourn. Your friends will mourn. But the world will go on. In a few months, a few years, you'll be forgotten. You'll be just a memory. And people will continue on with their lives. I sure miss her. I sure miss him. you're gone and life continues on and while they're continuing on you're either in eternal bliss eternal life or eternal torment and that's something to think but with all that being said Regardless of what you have going on in your life. I'm here presenting some joy. Everlasting joy. An everlasting hope. An everlasting love. That nobody can take from you. Regardless of what you have going on in your life. Regardless of your circumstances. Regardless of everything. Some of you are rich. Some of you have money. Some of you have wealth. But you're still miserable. Some of you have everything. But you're still miserable. Some of you have nothing. And you're miserable. Some of you have nothing. And you have all the joy and all the hope. In the world because you know Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ knows you. But this is for those who know who I'm speaking to. I'm speaking to you right now. God is speaking to you right now. I'm just a vessel that he loves you. And he has something better for you. Better than this world. Better than this life. You couldn't pay me one trillion dollars to sell my soul. Or trade my salvation for it. As God is my witness. As God is my witness. That's how much I value my salvation. That's how much I love Jesus Christ. That doesn't mean the flesh isn't weak. But 
as Christians, born again Christians, we don't walk by the flesh. We walk by the spirit. He's waiting for you. Come out of that misery. You don't have to fake. It's just me and you. <laughs> it's just me, you, and God. Watching this video right now. You may be watching it by yourself. And you know I'm talking to you. You know that God is talking to you. I don't know who you are. But I love you. That's why I'm making this message for you, whoever you may be. God loves you even more than I do. I'm just a, a sample, a piece of his love. God bless you all. Repent and believe the gospel of Jesus Christ. Today is the day of salvation. Because tomorrow isn't promised. Today isn't promised. I love you all. My brothers and sisters, sisters in Christ. <laughs> Stay focused with Jesus.